joined now here on Real Agriculture by Jaffet Emanuel. He is uh, the country program manager for Farm Radio International in Tanzania. Jaffet, maybe uh, for farmers here in Canada who aren't familiar with uh, with what Farm Radio International is about, fill us in just in, in I guess, basic terms what, uh, what you do. Oh, well, thank you very much. I think uh, Simply Farm Radio International works with broadcasters to like ensure that uh, radio programming that are targeting farmers, especially small smallholder farmers in Africa, um, are really of quality in such a way that they provide uh, relevant information in a timely manner to all smallholder farmers in about 38 countries in Africa. So that's mainly agronomic information or marketing information? What kind of information do you provide? Really it ranges. It could be like uh, agronomic information, like simple technologies like planting seeds, uh, you know, spacing, you know, post-harvest management technologies, you know, uh, weather information, as well as marketing information. So here in Canada we're seeing farmers getting more of their information online and through mobile phones and, and through non-traditional uh, methods. Are, are you seeing that technology catching up in, in Africa? I think uh, there are little, you see a lot like uh, Africa right now has over 100 million cell phones, mobile phones, and uh, uh, this is what we see, and uh, combining mobile phones and, and radio programs for farmers in Africa is one thing we see catching up quite fast and quite exciting. Absolutely. So you use that to complement the, the radio information? I think what we do is to make uh, radio more interactive, like two-way traffic. We give information through radio, but we also use mobile phone to follow up on the information that are, are on radio and find out from farmers what do they think about the information that radio is sending to them. So we actually gather feedback from farmers that way. So farmers who, who listen to the radio program, you've done some research in, in terms of the impacts that has on, on their operations and how they benefit. Maybe explain how, uh, how you're seeing farmers advance their, their practices as a result of knowing this information? I think it's quite interesting because we have compared uh, like three groups right now, uh, what we call active listen communities, passive listen communities, and control communities. And when, when, you, when you have these programs listen to farmers all the time throughout the season, we have a good number uh, and statistics shows that farmers who listen to these programs throughout the season are five times more likely to adopt the technology that was promoted. And we think this is quite incredible. So looking to the, the future, uh, what are the, the challenges for farmers in, in Africa that you, that you hope to address through, through Farm Radio? I think there are quite a, uh, a lot of issues if you look at it. Like uh, one of them, the critical one right now, is the issue of climate change change of weather patterns and how farmers can can really adopt and understand how to cope up with the situation. Uh, but secondly, we really have issues of uh, land policies, uh, land grabbing, you know, for small older farmers are really relying on land. So if we have issues like land grabbing happening, these farmers, uh, communities are cut off the other means of life, like source of energy, um, like uh, source of fodder, livestock, like other um, alternatives like beekeeping from, from the land that is being taken. So, I think and we have gender issues where also women are, are left behind in, in, in these programs, so agricultural programs. So these are some of the issues we think in the future we'll be looking into them to ensure that still um, smallholder farmers in Africa are, are really able to, to be self, food, food secured. Speaking of gender issues, your programming in many ways is, is aimed at uh, a female audience? I think there are quite um, strategies that we are putting in place. For example, when we do research, we ask uh, both men and women, particularly, well, of course, farmers or women farmers, which time do they listen to the program and when are they available at home. So the program will be aired based on that kind of information. So that means they bring, we, 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 we get to target farmers. But also we, in, in radio programs, we have special uh, phone number that are dedicated to women so they can call in the studio to air their views. So uh, also we have listening groups where women uh, listen programs, uh, radio programs together. So all these kind of strategies to make sure that women are heavily involved, their views are heard, and their ideas and opinions are helping to shape uh, radio programs.
here in North America, we're having a, a debate over uh, biotechnology and genetically modified crops. Is that something that you are encountering in, in the programming that you offer? I think that is very, uh, very, very obvious. But you see a few companies and, you know, large-scale farming trying to impose GMO, uh, especially in Tanzania. So uh, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I see it's very strong. I see it coming and is, to me is a matter of time. The governments really, especially departments of agriculture, have to prepare themselves, have to know what do we need, what do our farmers can afford, what they can't afford, and what can be done much better. Uh, I see that's a huge giant coming, coming up right now. Is, there, is that a difficult issue to cover because of the, is it, like, is it controversial from a, a pro, from radio perspective? Um, I, I, I think I think that's more of policy issue. I think, and we are we are working with uh, governments, line ministries uh, in, in a particular country. But it's worth it discussing it. You know, bringing farmers, bringing experts in, in studio, allow farmers to to give their views through radio on, on how do they think about that particular subject. So definitely, I think for us as farm radio, what we could do is provide a platform in which farmers. Uh, policymakers and other uh, agricultural experts can discuss these issues, bring some of the critical issues into attention so everybody, like smallholder farmers, understand their positions when it comes to GMO and biotification in Africa. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you.